Hey Virgo, this is Nikki. If you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining me. Happy birthday. If your day, birthday is today, September the 9th, or whenever it is you see this reading during Virgo season and after. Hope it resonates. If this is your own life purpose reading, Virgo. What is Virgo's life purpose? I'm right, hearing coming together with people coming together. Virgo's life purpose reading. Uh, you are learning to embrace and trust your inner knowing. Someone's making jewelry, wanting to sell some jewelry. I have self sabotage. You may be creating pain for yourself by standing in your own way. Okay. You are learning to embrace and trust your inner knowing, but at the same time, you're, you're sabotaging. You need to move on away from what's holding you back. I feel there's a lot of pain from your past, uh, maybe um, some distrust in your true value system, what you can and can't do, what you are allowing yourself not to do. You are, you are a shooting star. You are about to step into your fullest potential. Allow yourself to step into this potential, Virgo. Allow. I'm hearing you step into the spotlight, baby. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Step into the spotlight. What is Virgo's purpose, spirit? Virgo's life purpose. Surrender. I can release my need to control. Let this happen naturally. If you're trying to get pregnant, let it happen naturally. Don't add no creams or butters or, or go get some expen expensive injections. Let it happen naturally. Somebody may, may be having some issues with your eyes or something. Um, Self-sabotage. You're standing in your own way when it comes to your abundance. I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. Whatever you're wanting to do, I think that you are, you got an angel on one shoulder and a devil on the other. You listen to, every, to what the, that devil is saying more than you listen to your higher self. Okay. Oh, I'm hearing this song. I think Angela Wimbush sings it. If not, I'll put it in the comments. How can I ease the pain? I'm going to put them in the comments. Um, you're letting what happened to you in your past, like your past your past um, trial and, and situations and, and, and turmoil hold you back from becoming the brightest star that you were meant to be. And seriously, tell me you worry too much. You are a shooting star. You're standing in your own way. I am learning that worry doesn't change the outcome. Nope, it's not going to change. You can worry about it till you're blue in the face. It's not gonna. It's not gonna help you, okay? Because it's holding you back. It's like you're pulling in the reins on your success and your gifts in your life. Here, we have your help. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. I literally just did a reading for you all. Um, it, it was a short, uh, so you may want to look at that, and hopefully, it will resonate with you. It's about eating a clean diet and. Um, Opening yourself up to abundance. Okay. Uh, message of the day clean eating in abundance. Okay. Clean eating in abundance. I keep on seeing this abundance around you. It's just not, it's not showing up in your life for a reason. Uh, but I feel like you got to work on your health and your abundance. Fuck a relationship right now. That's the least of your worries. Okay. Work on you. Get this abundance set in stone and, and started piling up those. those <laughs> Piling up those motherfucking coins in, in your in your bank, okay? And doing some investing. Okay, you take care of yourself. That person's coming into your life saying, okay, that Virgo is on top. That Virgo is a motherfucking shining star. That's who I want to be with, okay? Somebody who is sure of themselves. Somebody who knows what it is they want out of life and they're going for it. Virgo's life purpose, please. A spiritual teacher. You are being guided to step into your role as a spiritual teacher, a spiritual leader, starting your own uh, your own company, starting your own YouTube channel, teaching people, uh, helping people bless others as well as bless themselves. A spiritual healer, uh, maybe reading cards for people online, reading their energy without the cards, uh, maybe even uh, doing something with. Uh, just a unique way of reading that's that's outset that's different from everybody else you see something different but it clicks like a mug okay old habits old habits are hard to break brother 
An old habit may be keeping you from moving forward. That's fear. That's worry. That's that self doubt. Let it go. Because you're, you're, it's like every time a new door creaks open real slow, you kick your back shut by worrying so much about it. Let it go. Your prayers have been answered and a new door is being held open for you. What you want is through this door. What are you waiting for? What is it that you're wanting to create? What is it that you want to sell, do? Okay. Whatever it is, you can do this. But you're holding yourself back. I think when you walk through that door, that door you're going to realize you're going to run to your soul tribe. People who are just like you. You are getting ready to unite with, unite with members of your soul family. I'm here with your clan. Okay. I have already met a lot of you all over, over the phone. I have yet to meet uh, you all face to face. I've talked. We've talked over the phone, and, and we have become so so close, <laughs> you know. And I think I thank God that we have that. I found you all. Okay, we have fear. You're afraid of failure, afraid to move on, afraid to do this, afraid to get started. Your fears are keeping you from moving forward into the life that you deserve. You shoot yourself in the foot. A new door is waiting for you, wide open. But it seems like every time the door creeps, you creep open, you close it shut again. All right. We have auric field. It is time to call in energy protection to shield, clear, and strengthen your aura. So you won't be so afraid. If you have, if you want help, you'll receive it. Okay. We got to do some healing for the inner child, for our inner selves. You are currently healing all emotional wounds, and when you heal those wounds. The path begins. Mm -hmm. The path begins, Virgo. Virgo's like purpose, please. Healing the heart and brilliant beliefs. And we have her Mother Earth. Divine Mother. Nurturing, compassion, and grace. Compassion. You are a very loving and kind person. Very compassionate. You've healed your heart. You've um, cleared and strengthened that, that auric field around you. Spirit is going to protect you no matter what you choose to do in your life. Power of self-love, brilliant beliefs, luminous, luminous life force and personal power. Taking your personal, uh, your personal power back from the tragedies that you have experienced. You have grown. You're never, ever alone. What took place in your life that was negative, that was hurtful, that nobody knows about but you and God, okay, you are always protected at that very, very moment, even more so, even when you thought you weren't, you were taken care of. How can Virgo ease this pain? How can Virgo ease this pain? We got a new beginning. We got being motivated, okay? This is you motivating yourself. Uh, to to heal the past, okay, being mo motivated from your past. It's like you're learning from the past. You're going to help other people heal, all right, with brand new start. No questions asked. We got fulfillment and we got laughter. I won't say that that this is a laughing matter. Um, sometimes maybe you are too uh, too rough around the edges, okay, uh, and sometimes you are a little bit too serious. The spirit is saying, take a load off. You know, just laugh a little bit, okay. Laugh a little bit. Watch a comedy. Watch something that's going to make you laugh. Watch a funny. Um, YouTube video that's guaranteed to make you laugh or something like that. Um, I don't know. I kind of feel like you are the kind of person that if you see a video like people falling, you don't that doesn't sit well with you because you don't like to see people hurt themselves, even though it may be funny, but you don't like to see people hurt themselves. So find something that you're comfortable with laughing at. Here, yeah, pull up Benny Hill videos or um, what's that guy's name? I can't think of his name. Um, you know, Benny Hill back from back in the day. I'll put that in the comments. Um, oh gosh, what's the dude's name? I can't think. There's something's going to, or I listen to some music uh, that's going to make you feel good, that's going to take care of you, that's going to nurture you, that's going to lift your spirits. However, it is you can listen to spiritual music, jazz music, uh, listen to self talk or something like that. Oh, Mr. Bean. Listen to Mr. Bean. Mr. Bean is funny as F. I'm going to put him in the comments. He's in his church at a funeral. And he keeps going in his pocket <laughs> trying to eat some gum or a piece of candy like that. The guy who's sitting next to him, he's just getting on that guy's nerves. It's just so funny. Mr. Bean is hilarious. We got synchronicity. So a lot of things are going to start making more and more sense to you. Your spirit guides and your angels, I feel like, 
Uh, they're teaming up to help nurture you to listen to what it is you have to say. You're the earth sign, so get out there and walk. Or oh, maybe you need to cut the grass. Maybe you need to wash your car. Get out, walk in the park. We got celestial guardian. We have somebody around you who is always there for you. Call out their name and giving giving them permission to come in your life and help you heal, to be with you when you need it the most. Wholeness, finding the finding your whole self, the truth that's within. All right. No more whole sweet potato pies. <laughs> we got journey, being creative on your journey. All right. No more whole things of ice cream or something, overeating, overdoing it with something. You got to drink more water, I heard. And you need to find peace in your life. I feel like there's an opportunity coming your way that's going to help you find peace. This opportunity. But you got to trust in this journey, Virgo. Trust the, trust the assignment, okay? Have faith that you are in the right place in your life right now. You, uh, you are in a place of healing. OK, and going into this with that blind faith, you know, that the faith uh, the size of the, the faith, the side of the faith that is the size of a mustard seed. But patience, I'm hearing you having the, 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 the patience of Job, knowing that everything is going to be OK. OK, here's the final messages. What is Virgo's life purpose? Okay. I have forgiveness and we have perseverance. You're persevering and you're forgiving everything that hurt you, every negative thing you went you went through in your life, the people that did you wrong. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. And I'm too self-love. Perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. And that's forgiving the people that hurt me. And I'm moving on and I'm not taking that negativity into the next half of my life. I'm going into my next life. The next half of my life with dignity, with dignity, self-respect, and most of all, love. No matter what they've done to me, no matter what they've said to me, what they've stolen from me, what they've taken from me, I'm going to be all, It's all good. It's all great. Success. It's all good. I know that there is no greater goal than to love. I just said that, love. You're going to find success, but you got to find some healing within you first. You will. You will, Virgo. Overall, what is Virgo's life purpose, please? A wake up call, power struggle, and tough love. You are about to discover your life purpose, and that's love, self love, in spite of everything you've been through. Uh, but I'm hearing giving people that, uh, receiving the act of forgiveness, okay, forbearance, what they did to, to me, I'm erasing that from my history. It doesn't mean I, I forgot. It doesn't mean that I haven't forgiven. I will forgive you, but in my time, and when I do, that's going to help me move forward. Some of you have some power blockages set up so high that you can't even heal because you're constantly playing back in your head what this person did, what happened. They cheated. They lied. They had a baby on me. They put their hands on me. They were a drug abuser, alcohol abuser, abusive parent, less, whatever it was you went through, you're still holding on to it. You got to release and got to let it go. Let it go. We got tough love. It is time to tell the truth about something you have been avoiding. And this is when you tell the truth about what has happened to you, it's going to help you ease up all of that. How can I re how can I ease the pain? It's going to help you release all of that. OK, it's a power struggle with you and the devil on one shoulder and the angel on the other. You may be involved in a power struggle between two or more people. That's you in the middle. You got a uh, spirit on one shoulder. You got the devil on the other. And it's just like like you're battling good habits, bad habits forbearance, forgiving, what this person did, revenge, okay, karma, whatever. Whatever you've been through, that spirit handle your your, your uh, burdens for you. You need to let it go, okay? And yeah, that's harder said than done, okay? I know it is. Okay, okay Virgo. Life's purpose reading for Virgo, spirit. The main thing for Virgo right now. Organize success, release jealousy. Don't let the world organize, don't let the word organize intimidate you, as it is simply a way for you to ensure clarity of purpose. Organizing your thoughts, your reports, your living and workspace, and your finances will help you know and plan your next action steps. Release jealousy. 
Jealousy is an affirmation that you don't have something and the universe manif manifests exactly as you affirm. Let other people's success inspire than frustrate you. If they can have it, then so can you. Hmm. Yep, we got a new beginning coming. Um, uh, and, uh, uh, exercise to increase your energy and manifest abilities. Uh, yeah, work out. Walk, go walking outside in the park or do something to reclaim your energy. Just to cleanse your energy. Walk mother, walk on Mother Earth. You may have a, a pet bunny rabbit or, or something like a real small animal. Oh, shoot. Sorry. A gerbil. That scared me. Um, yeah, something about you listening to that song, His Eye is on a Sparrow. I'll put that in the comments for you to listen to. But this is about you healing yourself. Pay yourself first. Start saving money, Virgo. Start saving money. Um... I'm hearing why I'm hearing why some of us are overweight. Some of us are too thin and need to gain weight. So take how it resonates with you. And we have here no more complaining. Stop complaining, Virgo. People are tired of hearing that shit. Complaints or affirmations of victimhood, which is never true spiritually. Take back your God-given power by affirming that you have an abundance of choices and freedom. With your increased confidence and assertiveness. Watch these positive affirmations blossom into reality. No more complaining, Virgo. You got it. You got it. You got it. And let's get a final word for Virgo. You have to have the courage to move on. Courage to move on, Virgo. Um, I'm hearing something about... We have communication and openness. You're yeah, telling your story, speaking your truths to people. Um, I think a lot of people don't know what you've been through. They don't know your story like you do. And sometimes you got to be more open than you would like to be with people so they can understand where you're coming from, understand why is Virgo coming from such from such, from such a voided place in their life, okay? Um, oh, grant me the serenity to change the things I cannot change. Courage to courage to think, to change, to, I can't say it, grant me this God, grant me the serenity to change the things I can, courage to, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Somebody here is possibly following a 12-step a program or something like that, or that's something that you need to say, your, say to yourself on a, on a daily basis. You can change if you wanted to, but you have to have courage to change first. The courage is already there within, you just got to say it and, and believe it, and you'll be able to achieve the Virgo. Happy birthday. I hope this message resonates with you at some point, no matter when you see it. But this is you finding the courage to heal. That's what your life purpose is. Finding your finding the courage to heal. I'm gonna put this. Is that what it is? It maybe it's I think it's a book called Courage to Heal or something like that. I'm gonna put that in the comments section. If you're not familiar with that poem, I'm gonna also put that in the comment section as well as that song that came out in the reading. Okay. Talk to y'all later. Thank you. Have a good day. And I am doing same day readings today up until 7 o'clock tonight, Central Standard Time. Okay? Thank you.